Hey everyone! Today, I want to introduce you to a fascinating element called scandium. It's a real superstar in the periodic table, sitting proudly in the 21st spot. Now let's dive into its discovery. Scandium was first discovered back in 1879 by a brilliant scientist named Lars Frederick Nilsson. He found this remarkable element while examining minerals from Scandinavia. Talk about a eureka moment. Moving on to its chemical properties, scandium has an atomic structure that's pretty unique. It has 21 protons and electrons, with a cool electron configuration of 2 to 8, 9 to 2. This configuration gives it some interesting reactivity, making it a versatile element in various chemical reactions. But what's really exciting is its practical uses. Scandium is used in aerospace industries to make lightweight alloys, enhancing the performance of aircraft and rockets. It's even used in sports equipment like baseball bats and bicycle frames, giving athletes that extra edge. Now let's talk about where we can find scandium in nature. It's not very abundant, making up only 0.2% of the Earth's crust. But don't worry, we've got extraction methods to get our hands on it. It's usually found in minerals like fortvitite and wolframite, and we can extract it through a process called ion exchange. So here's my call to action. Let's explore more about nature and science. Understanding elements like scandium helps us appreciate the wonders of our world. So go ahead, dive into the world of chemistry and uncover the secrets of the elements. To wrap it up, scandium is a remarkable element with a unique place in the periodic table. We've learned about its discovery, chemical properties, practical uses, and its presence in nature. So keep exploring and let's continue unraveling the mysteries of our incredible world.